Hey everyone, welcome to Infinite Realms. Hope you enjoy my meme. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go over some reveals, some controversies, and some other things just going on in the toy world. Just thought we'd uh, do a basic overview. So sit back, relax, enjoy. Somewhat. Okay, so here we go with D&D &D figures. And alright, we'll start with Eric. And the first thing that sticks out is that's alfalfa that's not eric that doesn't look anything like eric i wonder if this piece is removable with the the uh effect around the shield i mean i don't know it doesn't look like it is i don't see how it would be but it would need to be and you would think they would show us that and yeah, the big thing is, is the chainmail is gray, not silver. So it's kind of like, um, I mean, even the box art shows you blue for the chainmail, which is what Eric had. So I don't get it. I really don't. Next we go to Presto. Presto is a little impressive. I don't quite understand, and maybe it's an episode I didn't remember, but I don't understand the, the hair. Maybe, oh, wait, maybe that's to put this on. Okay, that might make a little more sense. You know, again, but Presto does, I mean, he's not bad looking, but he does bring out the cheapness of these figures. I mean, just look at that head sculpt. It's just, you can tell it's not as much work went into it as a normal figure would have. Um, of course, he has his hat and then, um, you know, this spell effect here, which is kind of okay. You know, it's not great. You know, again, these figures, I mean, would have really worked at $15. I mean, they look like $15 figures. And that's the part that's I'm not I can't get past is that these are not $25 figures You know, I have something to address on that in just a moment But uh, these are not $25 figures in any sh way shape or form. They don't have the articulation or anything um, To warrant that high of a price tag So and then finally we have Sheila Now one thing I noticed here is Kind of looks like she has thigh articulation, which, as far as I can tell, none of the others do. So that's kind of weird. Um, now it looks like she'll have, you know, one for the hood down, one for the hood up. At, you know, Hasbro and their reuses are probably going to give us a translucent version of this. This is by far the best looking figure besides Bobby out of the bunch, though. Uh, I do have to say that. I, I've been really disappointed in a lot of looks. I mean, they at least, you know, it's a, a bit off on the color, but it's not so bad that you really complain. And, you know, overall, I think, you know, they actually worked on this one. It seems like, <laughs> you know, but again, you can tell, I mean, there's probably no rocker and, you know, single jointed arms. And so, you know, that brings the cheapness back. But yeah, by far the best looking figure of the bunch. Okay. Okay. So after those figures were revealed on Facebook, you know, I just made a smart ass remark about how, gosh, these figures minus the QC issues and the overpriced nature of them would be the greatest toy toy line of the decade if it weren't for those two things i think i said it better than that but anyway uh, of course jc of t and i himself had to hop on in say a few words about how the qc issues are overblown and uh apparently pixel dan does not know how to heat up a figure um yeah okay so then he was talking to someone else and he just said something I gotta bring up. I mean, and I'm sorry, JC makes himself too much of a a public figure for me not to say it's him because I mean he's he's he does. I mean, and anyway, and I marked out the person he was talking to. It wasn't me. 
But, you know, he said, you know, somebody was talking about the cheapness. And he said the price is $25, which is the going price on Hasbro's six-inch figures. And if that's too much for you, then you might well, might as well find a new hobby because that's not going to change. Dude, that was an elitist statement five years ago. <laughs> and I mean, come on. We, we already know Hasbro is purposefully gouging these prices. If you need evidence of that, give me a second. Because right here, we have an article. Hasbro plans for the price hikes. Um, of toys warns of 200 million dollar Russia hit so yeah I, I mean it Hasbro Inc said Tuesday yeah this is from back in April by the way Hasbro Inc had said on Tuesday it would have to raise prices to further cope with rising soaring costs and warned of a potential revenue hit about a hundred million dollars this year due to the its decision to pause toy shipments in Russia. So, let me see if I got this right. You made a decision not to ship toys to Russia. We have to pay for it. I mean, that's the implication here. Because notice that these two are tied. These two ideas are tied together, as if they are connected. They are the two things causing the price hikes. I mean, if you really read this article um, from Reuters uh, from back in, uh, let me see, April 19th of the 2002, you get a clear indication, yeah, they are purposefully price gouging us. And then you say, oh, if it's too expensive, get out of the hobby. No, we're complaining they're price gouging us. Never mind the fact that, you know, D&D... Dungeons and Dragons is owned by Hasbro. Now, some may argue their cartoon rights are not. Well, that's that's a good valid point, except for one thing. I'm pretty sure they're not charging as much as Disney is for Marvel and Star Wars. Now, we can get into a big discussion about Marvel and Star Wars and how the price of G.I. Joe is raised up. That's called perceived value. The biggest example of perceived value is that statement. That's the going price for six inch figures, 25 bucks. Mm hmm. Perceived value. So, one thing we can pull from, though, is that we can go back in time and look back at when Dungeons and Dragons released a source book for the cartoon. That was actually not as heavily as priced. As some of their other source books, it was around twenty-five bucks, and the normal price of a source book for D and D at the end of the time was thirty bucks. So, if there is a licensing fee there, it's minimal. I granted the book was a little thinner because you know it just went over the cartoon characters; it didn't go over a whole lot much else. But still, the point is made that you know at a time that you're printing thirty-dollar books now, they those same books are fifty, by the way. You, uh, <laughs> you're not raising the price for what is licensed likenesses. So it makes me think the licensing is either very minimal or non-existent. Okay, now I got that out of the way. All right, next we have Ant-Man. And, you know, I do have a mitt. Um, I think this is a little bit cheaply done. Um, you know, all he gets is a couple of hands. It's, I wish he had a little bit more, maybe a... I mean, the Retro Carter one at least had a small version of Jan. The aftermarket price on that is terrible, though. And at first I thought this was a straight redo. But I did get to look in a nice... And uh, I'll show in a second. Yeah, here, see. Yeah, and then I realized, okay, there is some difference in the head. I'm not sure if anything else has changed that... The legs look a little bulkier. Um, yeah, they're definitely bulkier, and so are the arms. So, yeah, there's some differences here. Of course, the major disappointing thing is he has pins. 
I mean, yeah, he has pins. That's disappointing. And this is the windowless box again. Oh, God. Yellow, man. I, when this, uh, I, I'm wondering how long this is going to take before it backfires. But we'll see. Anyway, also revealed is, this came out really small, I don't know why. The Tracksuit Mafia. Now, the funny thing is, Ant-Man over there cost $25. This costs 27. Three head options. Of course. You're going to pay more and buy multiples. Uh, <laughs> they aren't even trying to hide it anymore. And don't even try to say it's a deluxe figure. It is not a deluxe figure. Oh, look at all the accessories. Yeah, let's count it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, seven accessories. Wow, okay. Seven accessories. That's about what a G.I. Joe Classified comes with. So, again, where's the value here? I mean, this is, this is an obvious cash jerk grab on Hasbro's part. But you got three heads, and I mean, look, the press pictures encourage you to buy three. I, I mean, I rest my case. That's it. They just, no, oh, no, look, buy three. And then you'll have a tracksuit mafia. Remember when army builders were like $15 in windowless packaging to boot? So, yeah, I'm going to wrap up on something more positive. Um, Savage Crucible. Um, this is a Kickstarter. I, it's already been funded. So, they made it. Um, but... I've been looking over all the different options here, and I really kind of dig this. Um, here they show you, you know, basically the renders and the colored renders of uh, the, the uh, figures they want to do. I'm really sold on the lizard men. I really like those. Um, those are just cool. I mean, they, they are awesome. I don't know how far I'll go in with this. I mean, these look cool, but, you know, what am I going to do with them? I mean, you know, uh, these, the, the I, I dig the lizard men. The lizard men are like, how do I describe it? It's like the monster, it's the monster race of, of fantasy that I think doesn't get enough attention. And I think they're kind of cool. Um, and then you have the Lemurians, I'm trying to figure out what that, you know, I think those are still, um, lizard men, they look like lizard men, yeah, you know, I mean, it gets a little vague here and there, um, now, they have character packs too, so you can do a lot of customizing, that's kind of fun, I, I won't knock it, I, I don't think I'm going to buy any of these through the Kickstarter, but I like that it's an option. Um, again, I think I'm going to pick out. I think I'm going to go up here and pick out. This one This one is on for sure. Uh, the um, the uh, Imperial Century Conclusive. This is a nice figure. I like that. If I get nothing else, I will get that. Uh, you know, these others, the Royal Guard, the Como, the Isles, and... Ninvimir, which <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Uh, they are tempting to me. It's very much tempting to me. I don't know if I'll get all those. Um, I will probably get, you know, just because 25 bucks for the Savage. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, yeah. You know, look at this. Small company. 25 bucks. And gives us more accessories than Ant-Man. Huh. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, dude. I mean, this is a small kicks, kick up company that, um, you know, a small indie company is out doing Hasbro. $15 for just the slate. I mean, this obviously is intended to, you just start building. Um, you know, you can paint it any way you want. Um, you can uh, outfit it any way you want with uh, the, this, with this stuff. 
uh, you know, it's 25 bucks to do that, but I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff in here. So that's fair. I, I mean, you know, I'm not going to get into that and start doing into customizing of the figures. I like that I have the option. Um, I'm not big on these coins. Um, I, I can see how some people would be. That's cool. I mean, you know, uh, you guys go for it. Um, let me get that past the coins here. Wave two. Okay. Yeah, this is wave two. Um, I'm not as big on the humans. Uh, I have to be honest. Um, <laughs> I have my legendary heroes Conan figure. That I would probably use with those lizard men. Now, I know that looks like a, yeah, it's a very dated figure. But I do like it. I, 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 you know, he's cheap, but he's cool. I've always, I've always really dug that Conan figure. So, you know, I, I, I would probably use him. Now, the only one of these that kind of makes me go, hey, is this one. Uh, Nashorn the, the Disinherited. I do like him. I mean, I think he looks cool. But there's a part of me that says, wait and see if you can catch him, you know, when they release him normally. Um... Jaeger doesn't do much for me. I am getting the biggest Conan vibe off of this guy. Uh, Freshetta's warrior with ball and chain. So much so. I mean, so much so. It's just uh, unreal. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a battle axe in here somewhere that you could probably give him. And a big-ass sword. So, yeah, there we go. Give him that axe and that sword. You got Conan. So, I mean, I don't think it's an out-and-out -out copyright, but, yeah, they're, they're doing it. Wave 3 has some interesting stuff. These Piranoids, I like the, this one. This one in particular, I like. The uh, Fathom Scout. Um, Leak Striker doesn't do much for me. The best Dreadnought is okay, but nothing to write home about. Savage is pretty cool. And uh, the slate, you know, again, just a basic. This is another fave, the Harbinger of the Abyss. This is the, this is the guy I'm debating. That it's like, gosh, this is a cool one. And I might just get this one along with the ones I mentioned earlier with the Lizardmen. Um, this guy is awesome. I like him. I like him a great deal. I um, think that might be the one I grab. Uh, I really do. I'm not decided yet. So don't hold me to it, um, but, you know, these are going to ship out in waves. I think the first ones are um, going back up, trying to find it for you. Okay, this now this uh, wave won't ship out to July or August 2024, so you got to wait. you got a long wait. Um, nope. well, the first wave, I believe, is around November, so that's not as long of a wait. So, you know, you got a good year to wait, a little bit more than a year. Of course, you know... I'm waiting on that uh, um, Simon Masters of the Universe game still, so it's been over a year. Still waiting on that. Um, probably some, something time soon. Supposed to get a tracking notice. Let's hope. Anyway, I did want to, you know, just point all these out to you and talk to you about my debates on these. I do think these are kind of cool. Um, again, I'm not big on the humans. But I really dig the lizard men. The lizard men are really what I really <laughs> are really what I really really like. And they what are and let me tell you what I want. What I really really want. Yeah. Um. You know. That, so I may go in on those just. And then you know it. Again, it's a possibility. I may go in on those, and just you know take my chances. I, I'm I'm certain these are going to hit regular channels so it should be interesting either way I think <clears throat> excuse me and if you're wondering I, I was trying not to burp into the mic sorry about that I know my audio sucks right now um, but, um I had just I've also just had dinner and man I, it was coming up I was like oh god oh god oh god oh god I'm gonna burp on the mic of course you know there's this thing called editing that I often forget I can do but, <laughs> um, but honestly, when I'm speaking like this, I don't script anything, and I'm just speaking my feelings at the time. 
So, you know, and I want to keep it that way because that's really my feelings. What I really like about this guy, though, these swords, look at that. I mean, that is nice. That is some nice color in that, in that metal. Love it. And that's nice armor. Really like that armor. So, you know, that's my debate on this. I am going to support it. I, I would just suggest you do, too. Um, you know, can't hurt. I mean, it looks really good. Okay, so that's just me rambling about some toy stuff and some controversies out there in the uh, you yeah, out there in the social media world. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.